Oh wow, Nurgle. Um, I was happy. I was happy about this matchup, but because he's low TV as well, he shouldn't be too scary, should he? Claw mighty blow. Agility. He's got a good beast, hasn't he? Block and guard. Uh, but limited tools, really. Two, three, five. When you consider how much. Uh, that's totally the wrong page. Um, when you consider how much blodge there is. Three blodges. Three rerolls. Mighty blow. I feel like this team is, is not such a bad matchup. I want to save the 100k, don't I, for the Blitzer? Yeah, first kill feels really bad, yeah. Absolutely, Zokazai, yeah. Yeah, it's it's great once you get... Even once you get block, it's good. Once you get blodge, obviously it's unbelievable. And you're like, oh, thank God I got plus Sarge. But it is clearly not as good as block. I mean, I would, I would take block over agility every day of the week if I was just trying to make the best team um, with a six-star player point werewolf. And if I, if I could choose anything on a 16-star player point werewolf, I'd choose block and dodge. And if I could choose anything on a... Nah, maybe strength. Um, <laughs> maybe block strength. If I could choose anything on a two-skill werewolf. But on a three-skill werewolf... Um, probably block strength five. But, <laughs> you know... Um, do you know what I mean, though? Block, block dodge better than block edge. But then block dodge and another skill... Nowhere near a normal block dodge sidestep, nowhere near as good as block dodge agility four. That's what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> a strength four and a edge four wheel. Yeah, just exactly the same. Blodge, blodge sidestep tackle on normals and mighty blow. Yeah, nearly ran out of time because of his disconnect. That was would have been annoying. I mean, I think I'm happy with a draw here, really, because he's got a lot of strength. So I've got a Dauntless to two dice them, and then I've got to pass the ugly roll to hit them. So it's not easy to hit his strength, guys. Only three blitzers. I thought I had four blodge when I was like, this is, doesn't look bad, but I've only got three blitzers. So a bit tricky, that that respect. Got a couple of guard, though, so that's good, isn't it? I think it's going to be tricky, this one. An interesting one. Well, no, I wouldn't, Adonica. No, no, I would choose block dodge. Now, obviously, if you could choose a... On a 31-star player point werewolf, you might choose... Uh, block strength. I know, block strength. If, if you only skills, I mean, you know, yeah, the doubles you're going to take and, and stats you're going to take. But if, if you think about just normal skills... Um, you know. Yeah, it's just the, the foul. I've only got 11 of my own, though, so... I don't know if you just watched the game against the Bretts, where I completely wrecked his team. But the foul, the fouls were still absolutely pathetic. So, <laughs> so no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make fouls if I can help it. I didn't... Uh, he did die. Uh, Jeremy Cloban, it was. So... Not a great loss. <laughs> He was he was the only he was the only one skill guy, so really wanna hit with block if I can, don't I? Claw mating? Nah, I don't think I'd foul anybody here. I, well, I don't think, I know I'm not going to foul anybody here. Not to say that fouling isn't, is a bad move. It's just not what I'm going to do. Gave me a bit of hope. I mean, it's true, isn't it? Obviously, you know, you'd rather... 
And when it comes to qualifying for the World Cup, you'd rather be playing somebody with a two three five record than a than a fucking nine one zero record, wouldn't you? Obviously, goes without saying. He's got a catch. He used catch. Good guy. Good guy, Barrage. Barrage knows what's up. It might be, but I, I wouldn't do it. He's got regen, he's got armor 9. It's like bad times, isn't it? So overall he's done fine, it's just this this Nurgle team that's getting him. Which which is understandable what with Nurgle being absolute garbage. On the one hand you may think me stupid to uh block away from my mighty blow guys. Why wouldn't you trap them on mighty blow? And the reason for that is, I want these guys to get fucking killed by Claw Mighty Blow, do I? So yeah, I'm not, I'm not underestimating him. I, I, never, I never underestimate people. But, I would just rather play somebody who's got a worse record. Because chances are, it's going to be easier than someone with a good record, isn't it? That's all. Now he gets to punch a shitter. Good for him. Uh, not even going to blitz. BLG, did he say BLG? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's not about underestimating or anything like that, it's just literally. It just gives you a bit of hope, doesn't it? A bit more hope. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it, you know? Yeah. Fucking crazy, done better with Nurgle than Dark Elves. What's up with that? Not a good season this season for Nurgle in Arian. I'll, I'll show you why. It's not a good idea to play Nurgle this season. Because 33-6-6 is absolutely outstanding. Um, yeah, but they're the three most common. Uh, the, the best record is... is is probably the uh, probably the vampires. This will fail. I am on the rig. But uh, yeah, thirty-three six six is is a hell of a record, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly as Adonis Callis says. So you know, there's there's a really good record there. I don't want to um, I don't want to fight it. Now I've committed the guards anyway to get two dice, so it makes you think, was it worth protecting them last turn? Don't know. Now I've got to make, make this blitz first, so that I can push him away there, can't I? otherwise he'd be still in contact. Hey, he was fragile. <laughs> Great name. Could have taken the vault down there, couldn't have to do all the safe moves first. Didn't have to. Guess you might as well go there.
<laughs> I'd like to see Narian playing Chaos for sure. No man, brutal. Not his day, is it, Callister? Oh shit. Not his day. Might go after the beast, got guards for him. Yeah, TV's 20, 20 TV difference. Down, down 20. But for what it's worth, <laughs> which isn't much. Good spot for him because I was. If he hadn't put him there, I could have put a normal guy there, and then uh, now I've got to go for the guard if I want to uh, risk. No, he could go here, couldn't he? And then he could one dice, and then he could two dice, and then I could get a two dice on the warrior that way. It's probably better way of doing it. I'm not risking the, uh, the guy so much. Ah, wrestle's a little annoying, isn't it? And in that case, should have moved over here first. That's an Ajiman, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's what they say. Cheeky pal. Saves the mighty blow block, doesn't it? The beast is risky, and there's a lot of TV, isn't it, in, in that in that one player or piece, if you prefer. Blitzing with a claw mighty blow. 
Nah, I guess it's only mighty blow, isn't it? Against a peasant, so not such a loss against a peasant. <laughs> that should be a Jim Hallow. No. Three guys tied by the beast. Uh, a little bit, but not really. So he can 2D, he can 2D, he can 2D, he can 2D, everyone can 2D, glorious. I guess I should, uh... protect the ball a little bit. Oh, fuck me, this fucking thing! Doesn't click. Because that fucking card comes up. And it gets me every time. That's so bad, isn't it? You know? I, I can't click it. Oh, I clicked it there, finally, because it fucking moved away. Fucking hell, man. This is probably alright in here. Oop! <laughs> Oh shit. Hurt him. Yes. Game listened. And you. Pretty good turn, really, wasn't it? A lot of every, every block was a knockdown. Three, four, five. Although I used a reroll, five out of five knockdowns, pretty good. Full crucifix. Yes, isn't he? Makes going for Skaven as a backup not such a nice idea, really, is it? Interesting.
glorious. All right, that's uh, that's G-Man Rebel ro weak roll. Oh, he's got a dirty dingo here. I'd like to blitz up here, wouldn't I? Somehow. Um, and get moving. Turn five. Four players free. He could stand up. He could one day him. And the big guy there, he could get him free as well. Oh yeah, Dirty Dino, Dirty Dino, Dirty Dino. I totally remembered that thing that I invented. Yep. Yep, Dirty Dino. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Could have still done that with Mighty Blue, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I could have done. Would have been a Kaz as well. If he goes six squares, oh, how bad is that? He just goes six squares. He stands literally exactly where he would have been after blitzing. Oh, I've got an extra one. Oh, why not? Right, one are here. I think, I think there's enough that I don't need a guard behind, but I think it's maybe safer to guard behind. Power him, power him, power him. There's still a screen. Could go there, couldn't he? Then he's going to be free to move next time. Kind of one turn earlier than I would like to have done that, isn't it? Probably. I guess I can leave him a two turn score on. Because, uh, he's fucking shithead Nurgle. <laughs> Pain painful turn though, he gets a lot of blocks here. I'm in range, just just by luck, but probably I probably should have made sure I was in range. I guess both these could have been at a square out as well, couldn't they? They could have actually been, yeah, square out might have been better.
<laughs> Hello, Machine. I, dis- I definitely am Fart Lord Fantastic, yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you can't argue with Ducky, can you, at the end of the day? Well, actually, no, the best Blood Bowl 2 player is probably a war dancer, isn't it? Maybe a maybe a maybe a gut runner or or a werewolf or a full centaur or a chaos warrior or something. But um, the best coach, yeah, Ducky. Can't argue with it. You can't argue with the stats, can you? That's the that's the thing with Ducky. Right. So I want to assist here and then blitz there and then go around, don't I? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got easy two D here, hasn't he? I guess I just don't run around then. Jim GFI should it be a new mode? Right, now he's only got a one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double GFI for a one D and a blodger. That isn't so bad, is it? Well, I mean, with him, with him winning the champs ladder three times or whatever, and being the top rated by win percentage, not not top one of the top rated by win percentage, and winning it three times. I mean, it's, that's it, isn't it? I mean, consistently in it, the consistency with. Uh, Four plus for a two D. Oh yeah, yeah. Four plus for a two D. No, three plus four plus for a two D. Yeah. No, three plus four plus for a two D. Yeah. Kian there, thanks. Oh, well, wow. we're not pressuring the cage, it gives us the extra turn stolen, doesn't it? Really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, he didn't even follow. Yeah, so I guess. If he's watching, seeing as he said hello, Jimmy, and stuff, um, I would say what he should have done was not give up the right side like he did. And uh, should have pressured more this turn because now he's let me. Uh, he's let me. He's let me shore it up now, hasn't he? It's really tough for him to get one. Yeah. 
Might you blow it? Don't mind if I do. Shard of Chocolata. But then he gets to he gets away from getting blocked by the beast at least. Make him make another two plus if he if he goes for some kind of crazy cage dive. Makes it a little bit harder, doesn't it? No, oh, thanks, Keander. Yeah, it will do. <laughs> Every little helps. Ooh. Yeah, I, I know I do, Karastine. I know I play play do I play better against like Tara Barala and Endzone on Fumble than I do against random dudes. And obviously when I've played Andy Devo and Sage and Kenora I've uh, I've I've stepped up the intensity I guess to try and make sure I don't lose. Powers me Bloodger. Maybe I shouldn't have exposed the Bloodger. I guess maybe he's yeah, maybe the Bloodger should be in there, so don't know. There's no blocks there, is there? I could 2D him because he's defenseless. Can't even 2D this one, so it's got to be this one. Plus, this is the best chance of uh, getting him out because he's got no regen. No foul appearance, armor 8. Best for numbers game, even though he's low value. I mean, you could, but you could, but what has he done on Blood Bowl 2? That's why I always say Ducky, because there's no real argument with Ducky, is there, you know? You could say, you could say, what's he called, Strider 84. You could say Spartaco. You could say me if you want. You could say Narian. But at the end of the day, nobody can argue with, with Ducky being up there, can they? So I think it's easier just to say Ducky. Because he's won Champs Ladder three times. And that's it, isn't it? You know? When Andy Devo wins Champs Ladder three times, he can say he's the best. <laughs> he, can say he, he can say he's the best player on Blood Bowl too, can't he? You know? But until, until someone else, until somebody else wins the, uh, the Champs Ladder three times, then, um, then I'm... I'm going to say Ducky just because it's, it's alright now. <laughs> yes, Backyard Dodo, because Dodo is pedantic. Um, basically, yeah, that is meant to happen. Yeah, you've got to stand up first because the words on the rules are... Um, only extraordinary skills work while prone. That's the word, the exact wording. The on, only extraordinary skills work while prone. 
Now, obviously, what that's meant to be for is stuff like stunty and regen, etc. But uh, secret weapon uh, is that is that extraordinary? Probably. Um, but you know that's the kind of thing. And Dode to and and some other people. It's not it's not on it's not on Dode at all. But some people, and Dode being one of the ones who agrees with the interpretation, took that to mean that you could in fact sit uh, take a move action, move zero squares, and then use hypnotic gaze at the end of that zero square movement square action, um, which is a bit crap. I mean, Crucifer is the most dedicated for sure, um, and and that's not easy to do. So yeah, I think on that respect, I don't think you have to say he's there on ability, but I think you've got to say he's there on on like hard work, absolutely. Yeah, Keander. Yeah, of course there could be. There could there could be there could be people that people don't know, of course. But like you know, Spartacus, former world number one, and uh, you know, but he hasn't. He, he, I don't think he, I think he's only qualified once for the champs ladder. But you know, and didn't win the World Cup, though he did quite well in it. Yeah, look, I qualified a few times. Yeah, he's not bad, is he, Jimmy? Fantastic. He's not bad. But um, I haven't won Champs Ladder. Haven't won any big leagues. Um, so, you know, why should anyone care? People, people can think what they like, can't they? At the end of the day, people can think what they like. But uh, I just like to say Ducky because... It's the most. It's the most obvious thing, isn't it? And no one's gonna say, "Nah, Ducky, shit." Whereas people could say, "I'm shit," couldn't they? But you can't say someone who's won three times is shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Tony. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, machine. <laughs> Right, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten versus nine. Oh, that was lucky him staying out. Three, six, so nine. Ten versus nine got a man advantage. Um, don't know how for how long though. He's getting two mighty blow hits on the LOS. Well, no, he's getting one mighty blow hit, and he probably blitz with claw, won't he? One of these guys. Played burn once. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not like he's one one dimensional as well. Yeah, Calistine as well. Yeah. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being <laughs> shit! Yeah, Epiphany, it was funny, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Smoko, I am a bad ass. Beat Jervis Johnson once. Maybe. <laughs> oh god, I do a great dinosaur impression. I do a Don the Kellys. Senna's got the video of my of my uh of my dinosaur impression and it's it's completely fucking amazing to be honest. Um if I had more clothes on, I, w I would I would post it in the Discord. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll do it again. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't naked. I wasn't fully naked, Tony. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, true, Dana, but you know, on the other hand, it you know, Fash is pretty much on the money when he said all teams play the same. There's really not, you know, this it's not rocket science with uh, nine versus ten it is, it's not nine versus eleven. 
Um, yeah, yeah, exactly, Cake Death. But now it's. Could easily be 9 versus 9. TDs win games, not removals. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Turkles, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the thing about the NAF rankings is people who play one one race are higher ranked than people who play multiple races. Um, and, you know, no disrespect whatsoever to anybody else in the UK BBL. But he went to a lot of UK BBL tourneys. Um, which is good, isn't it? So, you know, fair play to him, he's done it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's 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 one thing to not attach any value to it because anyone could do it. But on the other hand, he has done it, so fair play to him, you know. But um, I think they're pretty meaningless. Like, no one's up there who's shit. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, everyone in the top 30 or whatever is really good. Oh, Dion Lord's there. Um, he's on he's on Bubble 2 as well, isn't he? Like, everyone in the top, what, 50's really good. Um, it's like Fumble, isn't it? You know, like, being second rated on second high. I mean, I've been number one on Fumble. But it doesn't didn't mean anything. It didn't mean anything that I was uh, that I was on number one on fumble. It just you know. But everyone in the top fifty or whatever is good, isn't it? That's the thing. Hmm. Don't need the show hands now, do I? So he's not so important to protect. Yeah, but Norse are pretty good in in things, aren't they? And plus, you don't know again. You don't know that what tournaments he's gone to. You know, if he's gone to a bunch of tournaments. With uh, with not the top guys at, then that's helping him as well, isn't it? Protect the leader the most. Yeah, exactly. There you go, Orlensis. That's it. I mean, that that's the same for every team, isn't it? Careful planning, safe moves first. Maximize two dice blocks. Minimize blocks you take. Minimize risk. Maximize position, yeah. Know when to take a risk against good players. I mean, you should, you probably shouldn't take a, a risk against bad players, but you know when to take risks and stuff. When to score early and give someone a two-turn chance, all this kind of stuff. Playing a lot helps, doesn't it? And again, he could maybe he only takes humans in tournaments where the rules are favorable for humans as well you know so yeah 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 exactly exactly audiences yeah consistent isn't he? he's consistently good it's not like it's not like he's some kind of it's not like he's some kind of rain man who sees things that people that other people don't see, does he? He just makes the right moves pretty much all the time and yeah, still make mistakes now and then, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, true. I mean, I, I mean, playing races just generally means people are more experienced, which is a good thing, anyway, isn't it? So. 
Yeah, he does. He does. He does take pointless risks too much anyway, but it's he does come from the UK BPL. I don't, you know, he's the thing with the thing with Andy Davo is right. He's got two ways of playing Blood Bowl, which is UK BPL and tabletop. So obviously tabletop, he's not making any dumbass passes, but UK BPL, he's been used to making a million passes because why not? Because the results don't matter until they matter. So. You know, making dumbass passes is actually the optimal fucking strategy in UK BBL. But I mean, he wouldn't he wouldn't play like a shitter in tabletop tournament, which is why he does well in the tabletop tournaments. <laughs> um, do I go all man's here, even though he's stunned? Could put guard guard in the play there, two D him, and two D him. Like to get the beast down. One D on the ball. I didn't didn't look at it or see it or care about it to be honest. I just wanted to punch the <laughs> just wanted to punch the beast. Pretty old manzy here. Oh my god. Glorious. Yeah, well, that's just playing the crowd, isn't it? That part path less taken. Whoa, nearly completely misclicked there. He wouldn't be doing those, those serves if he wasn't streaming, 100%. Yeah, exactly, Christopher. Yeah, the blood ball ceiling isn't so high. Well, it probably isn't. No, no one's dedicated their life to being the best blood ball player in the way that people have dedicated their lives to being the best chess player, have they? So, but I imagine the ceiling is not too high. Yeah, absolutely, because it's so fucking dicey, isn't it? Yeah, it was a night. It was a sweet cars, wasn't it? Especially with him manned up like he is. Yeah, exactly. Dota. When you get the prize money from Dota, it's worth committing your life to be the best, isn't it? But yeah, I, I do believe Blood Bowl has a low skill ceiling. Yeah, sure. But the consistency ceiling in Blood Bowl is pretty high because you can play for an hour and a half and make make one square wrong and it loses you the game. And uh, Fash would say it deserved to lose you the game. So the concentration level is quite hard in Blood Bowl, isn't it? I think, or, or you know, whatever. Um, but I think the consistency thing is, is the thing. I mean, I play too fast anyway. I, I, that, you know, I've always played too fast. That is definitely a weakness of my game, for sure. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. Too. I was like, blood ball, blood ball is fucking tiring sometimes, randomly. Can I base the ball? Do I even want to base the ball? Do I want to hit him on a one dice? No. Do I want to... He got out of the basing, didn't he? But that, that Kaz was pretty good. <laughs> just, just base. Just carry on basing, I think. Because now that I've got that extra player out, it's even better, isn't it?
Sick. Sick AV break there. You can 2D him now. Mm. I don't wanna, I don't want to commit the uh guard there really do I? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I will. <laughs> I think I hit the rotter still. Do you mean this one? No, I couldn't because he's got his beast hot card, so I didn't want to one die. Yeah, Twitcher too, yeah. That that's that's why I don't care about people conceding, you know, I think I uh, yes, for the people the people who played a lot, who you know deal with the dicings better. They can they can put up with it, you know. But um but it's not good, is it? It's not good that, that it's an hour and a half and you can get diced and lose. Of course it isn't. <laughs> wow, he's really getting... He's really getting diced to death now. I mean, I had some good dice, but now it's just fucking silly, isn't it? Now it is just fucking silly. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yeah, but I mean, it's not a, it's a problem with Blood Bowl, isn't it? That, that, that that's what I'm trying to say. It's not, it you know, I don't have an issue with the people for conceding. It it's a Blood Bowl problem, because Blood Bowl takes so fucking long, and can be decided like the way it can be decided and stuff. You know. Fucking cunting, cunt of a fucking shithead. Fucking cunt, cunt, fucking cunt, 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 fucking beast. Um. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up, stop bitching like a little baby, and try and fucking play better, eh? I've got to go in here. At least he's just a shitty wrestler getting hit by him. But it occupies him, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I get I get annoyed as well, Colin, but you just gotta you just gotta fucking Focus up, haven't you? I mean, you've literally got to stop whining and try to play better. That's that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, Dan. I yeah, you can play a perfect game against Skaven, and roll a wine nine and lose because of it. Um, I don't know them, no, does I have met Charlie Banks before um, at a tabletop tournament. Um, the, there was a team one where I was team fantastic with uh, Pete W and Endzone and Malmere and uh, Charlie Banks was there. But I mean, I, I only just, like said hello. I don't, I don't know him. 
Yeah, every, everyone liked him in the in the league. I was in the same league as him as well. Uh, OFL. Was he in OFL? Was, was he in OFL? I'm sure he was in OFL. Yeah, and everyone liked him in that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm fine with the people. I'm fine with the people conceding because... Because, you know, it's horrible getting dice for an hour and a half when you've got limited free time. You no know, one wants to sit there in a game that they feel is decided, whether it is or it isn't. The fact that they feel it's decided may well be decided if they're tilting or aren't very good. You know, no one wants to sit there for an hour and a half. So it's the game's fault. It's not the player's fault. Yeah, hate, hate the hate the game, not the players. Yeah, that, that that's that's what I would say. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's that's really it. But yeah, it's obviously it's a problem that people want to concede your game, <laughs> isn't it? Like I don't know how to solve it with football, but. Oh wow! <laughs> he failed the pick up and then caught it anyway. <laughs> Why does it all emotes are all caps? Because all emotes are all caps now. VIP slipper safe. So you know, like Jim Shard used to be J I W N lowercase capital S A D lowercase. Now it is S A D all. Uppercase. All caps all the time. Right, I'm gonna wrestle him. Just because it's a Nurgle warrior on the ground, isn't it? And then blitz him into another hit. Peasant. <laughs> Disturbing presence <laughs> and agility too. Um, all right, let's go. I was gonna fucking go there to assist the block as well. I guess I can dodge here. This is a better way to fail, isn't it? With a dodge out. Glorious. So now failing the dodge, the dauntless wouldn't have been a disaster. <laughs> I'm better off watching football. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was, a, this was an absolute dicing, wasn't it? Three cars. Two KOs. I, I know he was armor eight, defensive armor eight on on some of them, but you know, and I did make about sixteen blocks with the uh, with a mighty blow, but uh, yeah. All right, thank you, Dazevi. Um You need some players, dogs who spike foul, but you best playing on scene. Yeah, or fireball, 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 foul concede. Some, someone's done that famously, haven't they? Few people have actually. <laughs> I've done it before as well, <laughs> just because it's fun. Just, I did it for the memes. I wasn't the first person to do it. Just quietly. Um, <laughs> Chatting markets get. <laughs> <laughs> Ball strategy. <laughs> yeah, I mean claw mighty blow. I mean he didn't, he didn't hit with a lot the claw mighty blow a decent amount of the time. He wasn't hitting with it. He wasn't hitting it as much as he could have been because he was going for like positional blitzes. So he didn't, he didn't hit that much with it. But even then. He was he was clearly unlucky, wasn't he? I'll get 
punch him. And I haven't failed a single a single foul appearance. Which is good, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Who's getting the TD? This this shithead wrestler. Try get another guard. Sweet. Should have put him there. I didn't think about this foul till later. So that's where I could have been better there, couldn't I put him there? TT is tabletop Haromaya. Oh my god. <laughs> Not even a gym foul. <laughs> Looking Thatcher, what a bitch. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Blitz, foul, fireball, then concede. All right, then, fair enough, Tony. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Don't fit the same for me by burn, wasn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, God, mighty blow. He did really this to the game, yeah. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. The, the bread sounds are just fucking god tier, aren't they? Holy shit. I mean, the problem is, of course, that now he's fouling, but that was a genuine... a genuine foul, because it stops me getting hit by... Uh, Stops me getting hit by Mighty Blow Claw, doesn't it? Like I'm not gonna not make that foul. It's a, it was absolutely, it wasn't a it wasn't a petty foul or a nasty foul. It was literally to stop me getting hit by Claw Mighty Blow. In the same way as this one is to stop me getting hit by Mighty Blow as well. Absolutely banged on. I could even do a Shawnee and forget the score here. <laughs> All right, nineteen forty. Now I think it's it's definitely better to get the three on the uh, on the blocker. <laughs> Double GFI. <laughs> Double GFI for the assist on the spike foul. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Strong and stable. Slow roll over. Double GFI with a noble warrior to make the foul. Glorious. And this is okay as well, because although it's although it's slightly spike foul, he does get an he does get a rotter if he if he kills him, so you can justify that as a competitive move as well, to be fair. Yeah. 
Didn't he hit? Nah, he's on 40 though, he doesn't really need more, does he? So higher odds with the uh, being able to get the boat down. Got the power anyway, glorious. Hey! <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> oh, GG. <laughs> Not for him, but there you go. <laughs> Two dicings in a row today. <laughs> Chaos murdered the fuck out of uh, Brett, and then Brett murdered the fuck out of Nurgle. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, it failed every region. Uh, like two or three regen he failed. I think I think it was two warriors got missed next game and then like three rotters, so yeah, two or two failed. Yeah, four cars. God, crazy. Yeah, Brett's Brett did hit hard that game, holy shit. Made less blocks, but four times the injuries. <laughs> uh, Kaz and uh three kills to none. So yeah, obviously just really lucky. I would say I would say that's all. Thank you for holding your streams very nice. Oh, thanks. That's nice, isn't it? Um made all twelve foul appearances. <laughs> all five dauntless. I I don't know if any of them mattered, to be fair. I tried to make them not I think one mattered, maybe it's two. Maybe more. Um block dice. Oh my god, look at that. 33 pals to 18 both downs and only 24 pushes, so incredible dice. Um, and Theresa Mame, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Only made 10 blocks with her. So, just, just an absolute, just an absolute fucking dicing. <laughs> Um, is the simple analysis of that match and uh, can get Jeremy Corbyn again uh, it looks I guess that looks like looks quite like him doesn't it actually <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn <laughs> Uh, yeah, third, that, that loss made it, means it'll uh, take a while to get top now, but um, yeah, not bad, not bad. Right, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.